All right, guys. On the video that I posted about why is the night dark, I got this really well crafted comment that I wanted to respond to. Oh, say less. <laughs> so it reads like this above. I'm going to put the screenshot of it and pause the video and read it if you need to. But I wanted to respond to the four possibilities that at Roger Moore 1924 put in this comment. So the first thing his comment mentions is the fact that if we all began in the same place, which the Big Bang is singularity, wouldn't the light have started at that singularity and then drifted off with us from the stars and then left trails? So why wouldn't we be able to see the stars or every star that was ever created? Um, and then he gives a couple of um, possibilities that he thinks might be the reason of why that's not the case. The answer is actually a combo of option A and option B. Now, there weren't stars immediately after the Big Bang. Um, only after a while did they form, so there wouldn't be any trails, so, so to speak, um, to start the universe. With B, we do see a handful. We are at the tail end of the wake of light, so we do see a handful. Those are the stars that we see in our sky. Now, C says the Big Bang and everything expanding is false. It's actually true. We, we've, we have a lot of data that we have done to see that it's not only just expanding, but expanding faster and faster over time. And finally, um, talked about Vanta Black put on the BMW, which is a cool, cool little color thing. If you haven't searched up what Vanta Black is, Google it. It's pretty cool. It's not exactly like space isn't Vanta Black, or it's not of any color. It's just mainly the interstellar dust and gas that absorb the light from the stars, which is part of the reason why we don't see all the stars. But um, yeah, great comment. Nice. And uh, I hope you learned something.